finally going to get this garage cleaned up. So we got a bunch of things really to work on up front here. Um, as you can tell, it's it's pretty bad, and I can't get anything in my garage doors because tractor, I got the lawnmower and grill over there. And I gotta get this brooder out of here. But uh, yeah, we can see if we can get it straightened up. Gotta take this tent down. Kids never took it out. But uh, yeah. So we're gonna work on that tonight. And uh, since it's already dark out and I just got home from work, we can do something under the lights, make a short video of it, and uh, hopefully have some fun. So sit back, enjoy. Get to uh, like and subscribe and enjoy. All right, that's about as best as I'm going to get it tonight. All this stuff right here, it's going to recycling. And I still got to do this shelf. This shelf is a complete, utter disaster. I mean, it's just got, there's probably stuff in there that I forgot I had. It's, it's just a mess, completely. Same thing with this shelf over here. But at least there's pretty much one thing on this shelf. It's all motor parts. And then I still have the wood in here to finish, finish that last stall in my barn. I still have to do that yet. Which I think what we're going to do is we're going to turn that into a sawdust bin. Because we really don't need that, that last stall. For, you know, because we still have two stalls right now, and once I redo that one side, we'll have one, two, three, four on that side. So, I mean, I'm not sure that's five, six, that's seven stalls, and we don't have seven horses. She would want seven horses, believe me, but 
I think we got enough for right now. So I'm going to turn that into a sawdust bin, which that'll be okay. We'll just get sawdust by the pickup load and back it up there and shovel it off. I know it's a lot of work, but it's better than going and buying the sawdust bales like that over there that's on my lawnmower because they're like seven bucks and that's a small one there. They're not that expensive, but the bigger ones for horse stalls are like seven dollars and some odd cents and you'll go broke buying that kind of stuff. So especially as much as we bed and uh, you know this stuff's for the chicken coop. We only got to buy those maybe four times a year when we clean out the chicken coop. You know through the winter we just keep bedding because that way it gives us a little bit more insulation on the bottom for the winter. But uh, and then in the spring we clean it all out. And then a couple times through the summer because it gets a little stinky in there for sure. But uh, yeah, so I'm, I think I'm going to call it quits right now in this video right here. But I uh, appreciate you guys watching and uh, hope you enjoyed it and had a, a uh, good evening. I'll catch you guys later.